Hello everyone, this is Andrew at Crown Academy of English. Today we are doing a grammar lesson and the subject is when do we use a little and when do we use a few? So let's start. So let us look at a situation where we are describing a small quantity of something. There are a few peas. There are a few peaches. And there are a few raspberries. Okay, so the first thing that we should look at is all of these nouns, they are countable nouns. A countable noun is a noun that is a separate object. We can count a countable noun. Countable nouns can exist in the singular or the plural. Okay, that is very important. Here, of course, they are all in the plural. So, the structure is, we say there are a few P's. So with countable nouns, we only use the word a few. Okay. And since the countable noun, since here we are talking about the plural, then the noun must be in the plural form. So we add an S. And also, of course, the verb must be in the plural form. So we say there are. And it is the same with peaches. There are a few peaches. It's a countable noun in the plural. So we add an S or ES, in fact, for peaches. And the verb is also in the plural form. And finally, it is the same with raspberries. We put the noun in the plural form, which for raspberry it is adding IES. We say a few because it is a countable noun. And th the verb also, again, we put it in the plural form. There are. So this gives us our first rule. The rule is that we use a few to describe a small quantity of a countable noun. Okay? So if the noun is a countable noun, we must only use a few. Okay? We do not use a little with countable nouns. Okay? Let's carry on. There is a little pasta. There is a little soup. And there is a little sugar. But this time, all of these nouns, they are uncountable nouns. Okay, uncountable nouns. We cannot count uncountable nouns. They are not separate objects. Often, they are a large mass of something, or they are often a liquid, and they exist only in the singular. Only in the singular. That is very, very important. So, when we have an uncountable noun, we must only use a little. 
okay? We do not use a few. And since an uncountable noun can only be singular, then the verb is singular. So we say there is a little pasta. We do not say there are a little pasta. And the noun stays in the singular form. Okay, there is no S here. We never say pastas, for example. And it is the same here. It is an unco un uncountable noun. So we use a little. The noun stays in the singular. There is no S. And the verb is in the singular form. There is. And the same here. Sugar is an uncountable noun. It is just a big mass of product. So we use a little. Sugar stays in the singular. And the verb is in the singular form. There is. So the rule is we only use a little to describe a small quantity of an uncountable noun. Okay, that is very important. So we do not use a little to describe a small quantity with a countable noun. Okay, very important. Just something else which is important is a little, we are not talking about the size. Okay, we are not talking about the, the size of the pasta, for example. We are talking about the quantity, the small quantity. Okay, because little is also an adjective. But here we are not using it to describe the size. We are using a little to describe a small quantity of an uncountable noun. Very important. So, to summarize, this rule, these two rules are easy. It is easy to know when we use a little and when we use a few. If we know the difference between an uncountable noun and a countable noun. Okay? So, when you learn a new word, when you learn a new noun, you must also learn if it is countable or uncountable. Okay? Let's do an exercise. I would like you to use a little or a few to describe the small quantity of these foods. Example. So for this one, the answer is there are a few lemons because lemon is countable. Okay? So, question one. And I'll give you a few seconds. Well, the answer is, there is a little wine, because wine is a liquid, and liquids are often uncountable. Okay, so wine stays in the singular. We use a little, and the verb is in the singular. Question two. And the answer is, there are a few mushrooms. There are a few mushrooms. So mushroom is countable. 
So we use the expression a few. We put mushroom in the plural with an S and the verb in the plural. Question three. There is a little bread because bread is uncountable. So bread is singular. We use a little because it is uncountable. And the verb is singular to agree with the noun in the singular. Okay? Question four is different. Question four, okay, I would like you at home, in your homes, to now open your cupboard and look inside the cupboard and find four foods, okay, four foods which are in small quantity. And I want you to describe them using a little or a few. Okay, so an example, my example is I open my cupboard and I see a little rice. There is a little rice. So that is my answer, but I would like you to write your answer to question four in the comments section below the video, please. Okay, and if you do that, then I will reply to your comment to your answer and I will tell you if your answer is correct or or if it is wrong okay so that way I can test I can test you and I can see if you have correctly understood the lesson okay so that is it it was quite a, a quick lesson this time but it is very important so if you would like to subscribe to my channel here is the subscription button, subscribe button. If you would like to learn a new word of vocab vocabulary every day, then you can follow me on Twitter here. And here are some other example videos on my channel. This one is very useful, very important, um, because it explains in more detail the difference between countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, so it gives you um, some advice on how to identify a countable noun or an uncountable noun. This one is a listening lesson and here we have a vocabulary lesson. Okay, thank you very much for watching and for listening. My name is Andrew at Crown Academy of English and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.